Hey guys, Jonathan and Ian here for the Blue Wizard Project, just coming at you with the next part of our playthrough of River City Ransom Underground. Uh, last time we finished up all the stuff with the school, and we fought uh, Slick, was it? Yeah, uh, was But Slick. we found out that um, we can't fight him directly, that I believe it was Marv is uh, fucking us over, basically. So we're going to go talk to this chick, Cindy, and try to figure out what we're supposed to do next in the game. So... Without further ado, uh, River City Ransom Underground. I love how she just passed out. Alright, let's do this. All right. That didn't sound right. I love how she's passed out. <laughs> Maybe you're in the wrong gang. Maybe you need to join the, the uh, Chad gang. <laughs> the Chad? Alright, let's beat these guys up because we should get some, uh, buy some stat up stuff on the way there. Since we'll be passing by the stores. Yeah. So, did you and Joey ever beat all three Donkey Kong Country games? Yes. Uh. How was. Oh, how was the third uh, one? Garbage. <laughs> I played it. It's, it's garbage. <laughs> Isn't that bad? My little brother. So, for those of you who are not us, <laughs> uh, my little brother's name is Joey, and um, I don't live in the same country as these guys. I live in South Korea, as I've mentioned in other videos, and uh, they all live in the states. Uh, and every time my brother and I are in the same country, we play through some of the Donkey Kong Country games. So we've played through uh, Donkey Kong Country one, two, three and Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I think we started the very beginning of Tropical Freeze, but didn't get very far in it before he had to go home. Um, Donkey Kong Country 1, awesome game. Great music, like revolutionary for its time, still holds up today, fantastic game. Donkey Kong Country 2, better than the first one. Uh, um, like improved upon the first one in pretty much every conceivable way. Uh, way more challenging, better bonus stages. Uh, we didn't get the secret stage ending because, like, we didn't have time to go through and get all the DK coins and stuff like that. Because again, it's a huge pain in the ass. Yeah, and like we did it when we were kids. Like we've beaten everything in the game before, but again, we're like on a very limited time. A adult time limit. Yeah. So. Um, oh, I love. Them. And then like Good when time. my little brother was here, uh, and then like we went through. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns on the 3DS, not the Wii because the waggle controls are so stupid and you can't turn them off. Um, oh, that really? That sucks. Yeah, you can only play it with the waggle controls. It's like, do you want a ground pound? Waggle the controller. Do you want to check for this secret? Do you want to do a uh, like roll jump? Better waggle. Do you want to play the game? Yeah, it's just it's dumb. Whoever made the controls for that game should be shot. Um, oh, you better watch yourself, man. Yeah. Um, so the 3DS version's good, but, like, the it's not as good as the old games. Then we played, when my little brother came out here, we played through... Right to the, the store. The Any third store. one. And the third one is not good. <laughs> like, I don't know what they did, but it was, like, in every conceivable way, they made it worse no, than... No, not the store. Go, on, go to Mouse. They made it worse than the other games. Like... Oh no, Jonathan! The enemies look really stupid. Nope, let me stay in there. The enemies look really stupid. The, uh... What was it? What was the one that increases our strength? Was that here? Um... I think... It was one of them. Damn, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna go in octopus roll. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what this improves. Consume the octopus roll. Griffin Scribe thought he could feel the tentacle hold onto... Oh, uh, we already bought this one before, so it must not be yeah. this one. We've No, we've bought all these. One of them gave us... Stamina went up by one. Strength by three. Ooh. Weapon by one. Throwing by Gosh. one. Yeah, Excuse we me. needed attack, right? But like none of this. Well, we want some strength too. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, Donkey Kong Country Three, the character models look really stupid. They 
I don't know why they decided to do this, but they introduced that stupid baby one. I forget what his name is. Um, oh, uh... Kitty Dirk Kong. Kong. Kitty Kong. So fucking <laughs> dumb. Such a dumb fucking character. Like, he looks dumb, he controls stupidly, he's inferior to Dixie in every way, which was, like, always kind of the case. Like, Dixie was better than uh, Diddy in the first one, like, just because she had the glide move. But, like, he has nothing... There's no merits to him. Like, the throw mechanics are really dumb. The boss battles are bad. The music isn't as good. Uh, granted, the music's not terrible, but it's not as good as, like, the other two games. It just... It was sad to see it. It was sad to see, like, such a good series take such, like, a harsh U-turn. And then the one after that was Donkey Kong 64, which we all know what that was. Um, it had the DK rap, so I don't know what you're on. This is, this is the best game. Because the DK rap is awesome. I've only played the very beginning of Donkey Kong 64 and was like, nope. Like, only had to look at the stupid orangutan character to be like, this is not a game I want to invest my time in. Why not? You look stupid as fuck. Alright. Alright. Oops. <laughs> Damn it. The safe point's over here. Safe room. <laughs> John ruins everything. Use I, it always. I always make the cops come out. Yeah, but uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is supposed to be really good. Uh, again, I've only played through the very beginning, which like Joey and I went. Oh, through. that was a civilian. Now it was your <laughs> fault. Hmm. Uh, we played through just the very beginning, uh, like the first stage. And it was good, like, but not as good as the old ones. Crossed streams forest. Wait, can we go up? Oh yeah, we can. Why does this remind me of the like old Bible games? On the no, NES? you know what this reminds me of? You know what we should be playing? You ever play uh, Goemon on Super Nintendo? Yeah, that game's great. That game is great. Have you ever been in that game? Nope. It's super fucking hard, man. <laughs> Especially, it's actually harder with two people. <laughs> Do you play the 64 ones? No, I, I've heard Legend it's good, of though. the Mystical Ninja, and I forget what the second one's called. Those were I heard the 64. Games. I heard the 64 one was good, though. Mostly because he summons a giant robot. Yep. But how come it's cool when he does it, but when we summon Big Bot, you're suddenly against it? <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten about Big Bot. I feel like we're missing something here. Yeah, there's gonna be something. Maybe we have to kill all these guys? Because we got the cops here too. Um. Oh, don't. I just ran into the wall there. Oh, Big Bot. I like how you always remember Big Bot. <laughs> it's such a dumb part of that fucking... So, again, this is a throwback. We already talked about this in one of the earlier videos, but, like, Super Ninja Bros. <laughs> such a bad game. It's a I shame, too, because it had up. some cool ideas. It was just a dumb game. It was just poorly executed. But I, think, you, I think it's like if someone had good ideas in a $2 budget. <laughs> you got, like, this... Uh, Giant robot, and its name was Big Bot. Oh, I'm dead. You know, they're really pushing the envelope here in robot names. Did you play Saints Row 3? Yes, I played 3 and 4. I didn't play Get Out of Hell, and I didn't play the first two. The goth kids remind me of the hacker gang. Oh, yeah, they kind of do. Saints Row 3 and 4 were great games. They were. And the very first Saints Row, I made my guy look like, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fat Albert. Um, Joey and I found a glitch in one of the missions in, I want to say the fourth one, where you're, like, jumping out of this, uh, airplane, um, out of this jet, and you're, like, parachuting in. That's in the third one. That's in the third one? And, uh, yeah, it's like the start of the third one. For some reason, when you're in co-op, um, when you're in co-op mode, if you jumped out in the wrong order at a certain time, like your head would stay in the jet, 
but your body <laughs> would stretch out behind it and your neck would be like a mile and a half long. That's awesome. <laughs> We That's have pictures really awesome. and videos of it somewhere. If I find it, I'll put it on our YouTube channel, but... Yeah, we probably have to beat all these guys, is my guess. We have to beat the squirrels, too. There they are. You guys again! Bet you didn't think you could get away, did you? Aye, aye, aye! We never forget. And neither will you after today. But if I'm dead, wouldn't I? not be able to remember. Fools, there's two of us too. Butt slam. Butt slam. Two on two. Keep an even fight. Where the I start beating up the squirrel. Oh! Oh, dude, he just... Did he just pile drive you? He did just pile drive me. Nice try, dude. Your brother's right. dead. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Ass to the face. I can't remember why we're even fighting. It's pretty normal for video games. <laughs> hey, can we leave now? Money, those cheap bastards. Oh, Did we need to beat them to progress? Is that how that worked? What? Did we need to beat them to progress? Yeah. Yeah, we weren't able to walk this way because we had to beat them. Hazel Avenue. Hey, there's a cool kid in town. Oh, this kid? Dude, he he's looks totally like he's gonna... Red. He looks like he's gonna look at us and be like, Dude, my dad owns a dealership. <laughs> He looks totally right. His name's Trent. <laughs> Ow, my bank account. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. I'm going to sue you so bad your grandkids will still be paying your debt. Can't sue me if I beat you up. That's how that works in the real world. It's a good point. Alright, so her house is, should be somewhere around here? Rolling Wood Suburbs. Not here. Look at this kid! <laughs> <laughs> These guys are too cool for school. I didn't get rich by taking beatings. Alright, Oh, I lost a lot of money there. What oh, the? Cindy's house. Hey, it's been a while. Do you look content? I'm so very content, Alex, especially with William by my side. Hey, bro. Haven't we met? Hey, Cindy. It's been so long. I've missed you. I sure missed you, too. Um, Ryan. I know who you are, silly. We did that one thing before. <laughs> Sorry for busting into your home like this. We were trying to reach Merv. Roxy called and filled me in. So you're okay with us heading out here? Sure thing. Just no dirty shoes on the carpet. You mean like this? <laughs> I like how we both jumped. <laughs> Again with the shoes. Oh, and I need some milk if you're gonna be hanging around. Might as well chip in. William uses it in his protein shakes. Gotta stay fit, muscles for days. I'm pretty sure like she's one of their ex-girlfriends. <laughs> she's the girl we saved at the end of the beginning. Yep. Okay, so now what? I love how this guy's sleeping on the couch. Who is that guy? Wait, wait. That's one of our other characters. <laughs> he was trapped to the wall. Yeah, but why is he there? Okay, we can't go upstairs. Let me see what the thing says. Oh, and I need some milk. Alright, so we have to go get her milk. Let's get her some milk. What's oh yeah, there's a place called Mervville. What story <laughs> thing are you talking about? If you go to World Map, at the bottom it'll say, uh, 
Oh, I see. Merville, Ocean Heights, Little Tokyo. Alright, our objective is back in Sticksville. So probably that grocery store. Let's go. <laughs> like they're just like we gotta get those criminals. Let's just indiscriminately run over people. <laughs>